saw Elliot, and I was like, okay. Coach was like, yeah, he's our best lineman. I was like, he's a sophomore. He's not our biggest kid. What are you talking about, Coach? And I saw him running around, hitting people. I was like, oh, Elliot is the real deal. Elliot has been a pleasure to coach for the last three years. Uh, as I, I hadn't realized it, but I guess last year uh, he never came off the field, special teams, offense, or defense. So uh, that that you have to be a truly special player to need to be on the field for every snap. And I don't think he would have came off at all this year had uh, some uh, heat circumstances not taken him <laughs> off the field. He uh, literally gave everything he had had to be carried off the field. So. I think that speaks to how important football is to Elliot and how important Elliot is to this team. Um, we definitely have had a lot of joy coaching him. Uh, everything he says, like, he'll say things when we're talking on the O-line. He'll be like, Coach, no, that's that's not going to work. We need to do it this way. And I'm like, I think about it. I say, Elliot, you know what? You're right. I'm really glad you're here. I told him, like, hey, if you want to come back and coach next year, stay in Chicago for college, we got a spot for you. Elliot was a, a four-year player, three-year starter on a varsity team. Not many guys can say that. I'm sorry, not many people can say that uh, in many programs anywhere. So we definitely appreciate that. And just to tell you the selflessness of Elliot, he's all about the team. Uh, his freshman year, he was playing running back. And, and from what I hear, he was a very good, darn good running back. And uh, he had an injury. Came back next year ready to go. Coach, I'm ready to do whatever you need me to do. And was our best O-lineman from sophomore year until now. And I don't think anyone can argue with that. So it's been a pleasure. I, I know Elliot is uh, always takes care of business on and off the field. Not the loudest person. Not the loudest person. That's the game face right there for Elliot. But he always does exactly what he's expected to do and knows exactly what to do. So I, I know great things are coming for Elliot, even greater than starting three years on varsity football at Payton. No great things are coming. So thank you, Elliot. It's funny to hear that Elliot talks to Coach uh, Nunnery because I don't think I've ever heard the kid talk. Yeah, like, I don't know. I don't know. And I, uh, I don't know if he's ever heard me talk, because I think he's the only kid on our team that I haven't had to correct on something the entire time I've been here. And that's a testament to him and what he did before I got here and things like that. But he is, and I wouldn't say this just platitudes, but he is a very, very, I mean, he's a great football player. And I think everybody on the team knows it. And he's kind of, uh, Curtis said it yesterday, like, how many games we won? I was like, I think five, I think, right? Like, he's like, Elliot's got five stars. Like, every week he is one of the stars <laughs> of the game, and it's not always for the same position. So, um, Elliot, we look forward to watching you play tomorrow, man, as you try for another conference championship. Thank you for everything that you've done for us.